Today, I'm sharing some holy grail hacks for all my peeps who wanna transition to a plant-based diet like a pro. I surveyed my plant-based squad for y'all and they gave me these seven tried and true gems for how to transition to and maintain a plant-based lifestyle. These are people who have gone through the fire and learned from their mistakes, but who also mastered uh, the lifestyle and stayed with it. So if you're ready to level up, and need some easy ways to transition and stay on the journey with confidence, with action plans. These plant-based success tips are for you. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to Choosing My Health. I'm Lisa, health coach, holistic nutritionist, and plant-based food instructor, and I teach you how to easily transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive. On this channel, I share plant-based education, recipes, and encouragement. So if that's your vibe, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. As usual, all the recipe links and any resources that I mentioned are below. All right, you ready? Let's go. Expert hack number one, eat simple. All right, the plant-based bosses don't overcomplicate their food. They keep it simple and nutritious. I know the social media reels are dope, but if you're a beginner, it's easy to feel like you're doing something wrong if you're always comparing your meals with the ones on your feed. Honey, give yourself a break. I'ma keep it 100 because at one point on the journey, I started feeling like this pressure to replicate everything on IG and to buy all the specialty products. Mind you, some were practical, right? But a lot were expensive. And then I was like, hold up. Why my meals gotta be so fancy? It's really okay if your meals don't look like the ones you're scrolling through. What matters most is that you're eating healthy, not fancy. The real plant-based MVPs don't fall into the my meals ain't good because they don't look like that trap. Instead, regardless of how the meals look, they learn to train their taste buds to appreciate food in their most natural state. And that's how they save time and money. For example, a plate of some lentils, a baked sweet potato, maybe some avocado, may not be gourmet, but it's satisfying. And you're hitting up your protein, your carbs, and your healthy fat. It's also sustainable because you can batch cook to have this for days in just 60 minutes, all right? I'm not saying you should never be fancy. What I'm saying is that you need to appreciate simplicity to maintain this lifestyle. And this also means that you're allowed to free yourself from expensive ingredients and complicated carbon copies to be plant-based. Simple is the way to go. Your action plan for this hack is pick two quick go-to meals with simple ingredients to add to your weekly menu. Now this next one is a game changer. Temptations are real but you can prepare yourself to win every time with a solid backup plan. This is how you choose well, you hear? For instance, my backup plan whenever I whiffed some barbecue beef on a grill around the corner someplace, you know what I'm talking about, and I felt like I was about to slip, was to remind myself of the antibiotics, the chemicals, uh, the steroids, and the fecal matter fed to cows. So, uh, let's think of a real life scenario. Let's say you're at a party and you see these scrumptious slices of pizza. Hear me out. Did you prepare for this? Or did you just step into that party willy nilly knowing full well there might be pizza you're struggling with? Boo, you have to anticipate the temptation and prepare for it. How could you have prepared for the pizza temptation? Well, did you walk in with a full tummy so you weren't starving? Did you ask the host ahead of time if there were vegan or plant-based options? Did you bring a dish uh, to the party uh, that was vegan or plant-based? Bae, you don't have to just accept whatever temptation comes your way and then succumb to it. Instead, you're in control. So give yourself smart options because options outsmart dumb decisions. Your action plan for this hack, write out your top temptations and a backup plan for each. Now this next one, it's pure fire, honey. Yes, you're excited, you've come this far on your plant-based journey, but truth is, not everyone is gonna be happy about your choice. So be careful who you share it with. Guard yourself from the dream squashers, because if you're not prepared, their response may throw you completely off. Trust, like, I've been there. Regardless of what people say, you have to commit to going 100 no matter what. But keeping decisions to yourself 
can avoid unnecessary stress and scrutiny. And if you know you're already feeling weak, like you don't need the drama mama. So be wise, share with those who have a growth mindset. You know why? Because they're gonna celebrate your health goals regardless of your dietary choices. Your action plan for this hack, share your new decision with the right people. And now that you have the right people to share with, you gotta have this one right too. Listen, you gotta have your house on fleek. So take control of your space, clean out your pantry, your fridge, only allow in your sacred space what you know will satisfy your health needs, nothing you'll regret later. Your personal space should be the easiest place to stay on track, honey. So create that healthy haven you dream of. Stock your fridge with colorful eye candy produce and delicious life-giving food, but not junk. Organize your pantry with plant-based goodies not glucose spiking junk. Not the little Debbie oatmeal cream pies that, that I thought could kind of slide because they said oatmeal. On top of that, if you must, post goal reminders and empowering quotes on your kitchen wall, create a vision board if you have to, to point you in the right direction. All of this will transform your home into your personal plant-based charging pad. Your action plan for this hack, clean out and restock your pantry and fridge with whole food plant-based items you can be proud of. This next hack ties right into this one. Bang, bang. Hack number five is change it up because variety is the spice of life. You need it for proper nutrition, it kicks boredom to the curb, and the plant-based kingdom has a plethora of delicious foods to choose from. Fruits like mangoes and strawberries and dragon fruit and jackfruit and pineapple. Veggies like kale, asparagus, artichokes, eggplant, butternut squash. Deliciousness like creamy sweet potato pasta, spicy eggplant taco meat, vegan mozzarella cheese, no baked mango pie. Try your hand at something new, that's what I'm trying to say. And when you usher in a vast array of nutrition, you prevent your plate from becoming stale. And if you liked any of the dishes I rattled off, I got you, recipes linked below. Your action plan for this hack is change it up and be intentional about eating a new item this week and every week after that if you can. This is a hack right here. Tools that help you save time because a plant-based diet shouldn't have you working all day in the kitchen. Say it one more time for the people in the back. A plant-based diet shouldn't have you working all day in the kitchen. It shouldn't be this time suck where every meal is a dreaded multiple hour stovetop experience, nah. The key though is finding simple solutions to do a lot of the work for you. Enter the Instant Pot. The Instant Pot is gonna slash cooking time and this actually preserves food nutrient value because you're not cooking the life out of food for hours. Wouldn't it be gratifying to, to make this delicious uh, stew for the entire week in under 30 minutes. Yeah. Other tools experts love. A food processor, a garlic press, a blender, just to name a few. Your action plan for this hack, invest in a time-saving cooking appliance. Now this next hack is the perfect way to grow. Honey, use your resources. Plant-based bosses use the resources around them to leverage growth and this includes like-minded people. So go ahead and get yourself a mentor, a friend, somebody who has charted this course and knows the ropes. What you're creating here is a support system, a lifeline to keep you strong, especially for them days you wanna throw in the towel. Now, truth is you might want it to be your husband, your girlfriend or family member, but they just may not be ready and that's okay. Either way, don't let it stop you. The pros know that even if you're the only one at home who cares about this lifestyle, you can still do this, but it's gonna be so much easier if you at least got a friend who can share some recipes with you. So explore your resources and link up with like-minded individuals who care about a healthy lifestyle. Also, don't sleep on the social media groups and the meetups. All of this can encourage and educate and inspire you to stay on track and crush them health goals. Your action plan for this hack, join a network and create plant buddy relationships to keep you accountable. All of these hacks have one thing in common, action. Action produces plant-based success and ultimately it's your drive to say yes that's gonna keep you on the journey. And if you use these hacks, 
you gotta be plant-based pro unstoppable. Please subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't yet and thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Also, click or tap right here for even more tips to help you transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive. Hope you have an amazing day. I really do love y'all and I'll see you in the next one.